Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Today it's time for a pocket dump deconstruction. Couple of things. I'm starting later than usual because I am off today. I took Tuesday off. Monday was uh, Columbus Day. A guy who needed some navigational tools. <laughs> And uh, and so I started a little late, but I'm here. A couple of things before we do the pocket dump deconstruction. Man, I am tracking. Is there anything, anything worse than waiting for knives to come in? I bought seven new knives uh, from Blade HQ. I'm expecting them in Wednesday night, tomorrow night when I get home from work. Um, so that means Thursday, Friday, and then Monday through, <laughs> we'll be doing some knives that I purchased. Out of all seven of the knives, only one was a knife I just missed after trimming. I needed to have one back. Got a better blade on it too, so I'm excited about that one. So you'll be familiar with that one if, if you've been watching this channel. But the other six are knives... You guys couldn't even guess which knives they are. They're not new, kind of form. They're new. They are brand new knives, but they're not new formats or just being introduced like a lot of the Spyticles I introduced. So I'm excited about that to share those knives with you on the knife of the day. But let's talk about today's pocket dump. Um, I'm wearing my uh, Mont Blanc chronograph. Yes. I am not working today. Every day is beautiful when you're not working. So I'm going to smoke one of my super expensive but super delicious cigars. I'm going to sit here and smoke this thing until my fingertips burn. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's that kind of cigar. Hold on. Oh, Romeo and Julieta. I'll tell you, my place is packed full of stuff I keep promising to show you. I, I have these wonderful cigar uh, samplers. Uh, oh, man, just wonderful from Provida. Is it Privida? Privida. Um, just hard to find cigars. Um, cigars that are three, four, six years Oh, and I've wanted to do a cigar thing over the weekend, uh, but we'll see. I also want to do some um, silver coin things, all kinds of stuff. For now on, when we do pocket dump deconstructions, and I know you guys, some of you hate this. It is more chatty, but this is an expensive Cuban cigar, and I love it. By the way, I also got, uh, I have, all of those are non-Cuban cigars. I also have eight other um, cigars that I got from the best of the best uh, st uh, non-Cuban cigars that I want to share with you guys. I've been stuck on, non on Cuban cigars for the past two to three years, and I wanted to spread my wings a little. Um, so for you cigar people, I know all of you aren't, we'll do that. This is a Shown Design pin. This is the Thai version. Um, oh, today, <laughs> it's scotch. You know, when I'm not working and I still have um, scotch, <laughs> the reason I carry this, I think I've said it before, but the reason is not so much that I can't drink. I'm at home right now. I have bottles of scotch that I can see right now in front of me. But the reason I put it in here is to get it started. Um, I know that I could sit here all day and drink a lot too much scotch. And I'm an adult <laughs> and I work for that scotch. But I like to start with this. I fill this up every morning. And I'll start sipping my scotch with this. And then I wait a little bit before I hit the bottle again. I'll probably get to the bottle again. But it's just my way of kind of slowing down a bit with the drinking but this is not single but it's a blended scotch but it's a good scotch um mont blanc skinny wallet coins 
Silver coins. Boy, I want to do some silver coins with you guys and just sit and chat. We'll figure it out. It's all on me. Plus, I want to do my camera collection because a lot of you help me buy these cameras through the trimming. Whenever I sell one collection, I usually go into another. This is the Australian kangaroo coin, one ounce silver coin uh, from 2018. I always carry a one ounce silver coin for good luck in my pocket uh, because my grandfather always carried silver dollars. And at that point, silver dollars were silver, <laughs> real silver from America. But now I do that and it helps me to collect them. In fact, my big collection of knives came from first trimming and then selling off a lot of my silver and gold when silver it'll probably never hit 50 again was at 50 and gold was at 1500 <laughs> yeah it actually happened here's my notes from smithson a british company nice leather uh, notepad so i i wanted to go red today to kind of brighten up the day uh, here's the red roadie. Um, the roadie, of course, is the nice slip joint knife that Spyderco put together because the FAA wanted, they were considering allowing small knives on the plane and they came out with their specifications. Spyderco came out with the roadie. It had to be non locking. This is a slip joint. Uh, I love how Spyderco does a slip joint. You guys know I have a thing about that forward choyo, but the forward choyo on all of Spyderco's slip joints are good because it stops the blade from going forward. Has a little jimping on the top, always has jimping inside of the choyo. Um, couldn't be locking, had to be a two hand opener. So you'll also see, oh, one measure of a good slip joint to me is that it has the half stop. It doesn't lock up. You can push through it, but boy, do you feel that lock right there. It says, move your fingers. That's what it's yelling out to you for. Um, it does have the spidey hole, but it's a small hole. You can't open it up with your thumb. Instead of the nail neck, they did two dimples on each side so you can pinch and bring up using two hands just a real nice unique knife you could hear it when it engages this string uh this spring sorry the spring is just strong enough the knife has bowler n690 steel three inch blade but of course when you take off that choil it's 1.7 inches of uh cutting edge it has FRN scales, fiberglass reinforced nylon scales. With a, can you see that spider on it? On both sides. It comes in five colors. This is red. They have orange, blue, gray, and black. Just a real nice, I have them all three because I really like it. It's, most of you probably know I always have a keychain knife. This is on my silver loop, my silver hoop with three keys on it. Just a real durable knife. No pocket clip because you don't need one. Just drop it in your purse, drop it in your pocket. Put it on a keychain. Just a real nice knife. This is one of the more recent Spydacos. Um, people have asked, people, you know, I did my most recent three new knives from Spydeco that I was really excited about. Uh, two of the three, I did videos. I did all three videos late night, right before I went to bed and slept for three hours because I had to get up at 4 a.m. to leave. But I wanted to share the new knives with you guys. And I started with a CPM M4 steel knife, and then I called everything M4, including this one. <laughs> I had a Manix 2 that was, I called M4, but actually was 4V steel from Crucible. And I called this M4, which is actually 4V steel from Crucible. And I apologize for that. 
I just love this. You know, um, there was a um, Delica made the same way, black blade, and that red um, G10 scales with all the black hardware. This is just nice, especially when you have that great steel, you know, tough, retains an edge. Just a nice cutter, just really nice, hard. And of course, the Para 3, very popular knife. Man, we've got more variations on the Para 3 than anything else. Four way clip, again in black. Uh, right hand, left hand, tip up, tip down. And of course, the military, the paramilitary, the paramilitary 3 actually. Spyderco actually gives you a huge lanyard hole that you can actually use. Of course, the forward choil and the compression lock. Spyderco's compression lock that is very strong and wonderful. Gets out of the way once you engage it. Once you engage the blade, the lock is just out of the way. And then, of course, has embedded liners, just a real nice, nice knife. This is my carry. This with the dark red, black, pair of three, with that 4V steel, and of course, my roadie. I was thinking, I had read something from someone, I forget where, on YouTube, and they were talking about the Spydeco Brower, the new knife Spydeco just introduced, they they got the design from a knife maker um, who they knew uh, from Europe, and it's a real nice knife. I really like it. Most people don't like the price for it, but I like it. the size of it. To me, is perfect. It's thin as well it has a liner lock no it doesn't sheesh kevin come on it has the frame lock the chris reeve interco frame lock it has a silver insert to help from wear and tear and it has that low profile the one thing about spydeco in their hole <laughs> is that a lot of the blades have these weird shapes right the big hole coming up to a but I love that on this they really keep a thin profile which helps it to just slide into the pocket hate the huge clip which is almost as big as the entire knife wish it was a wire clip but that's okay tip up only right hand and left hand titanium on the business side the business side of things the lock side and green g10 on the show side the brower has s30v steel from crucible 2.8 inch blade and the total length of the knife is 6.8 inches and it weighs 2.8 ounces and let me tell you that 2.8 ounces is as light as a feather Real nice cutting knife. Uh, people, you know, people know that it's a nice knife. They just don't like the price of it. But because it doesn't have anything fancy, right? Not fancy steel. I love S30V, though. But, man, what a nice, nice knife. Solid EDC knife. But I decided to go red today. And these two or my carry. Hey, it's always great to talk to you guys. You have a perfect day. Take good care of yourselves and your loved ones. You have a nice day. I'll be back tomorrow. It'll be a pocket dump deconstruction, but knock wood, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> most of next week, we'll be having, um, we'll be doing knives of the day. And then I'm hoping by that time we have some new Spyderco knives because they should be coming. Hey, check out what I just posted yesterday. The brand new Hatchet. Hatchet Hawk. <laughs> That's great. I love my Hatchet. So go check that out. 
Um, and before that, I did... Uh, why do I keep forgetting this knife? It's the Mantra 3. The Mantra 3. I don't know why I keep forgetting this knife. The Mantra 3. So check out those two new Spydecos. You guys have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.